Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies and today I want to talk about tuning your arrows for a recurved bow. Now these group of arrows here are the same spine, they're both 600 spine, they're both VAPs. Um, the yellow ones on this side here with the plastic veins have got a 120 grain point in them. The green ones on this side have got a 110 grain point. Now I've aimed at the same point and you'll see these are the green arrows, I'm putting my hand around here, they're on this side and the yellow arrows are on this side of the target. So the point weight is affecting the spine of the arrow, how much it flexes and the green ones with less weight at the point are flexing less and they're actually shooting to the right of the target. Now to me that's an interest, interesting um, aspect of shooting. Um, the point is point weight is actually moving the arrows in the target. Now is this going to happen on a compound? Not to such degree. This is happening with the recurve because you shoot with fingers and the pressure and the tune. This arrow's got to flex around the bow. With a compound they shoot a lot straighter. But this, this is at um, 18 meters. I shoot at home um, and I've just set these green arrows up, the spin wings, um, this weekend, Sunday, um, for shooting the tournament on the weekend. Um, and I'm trying different point weights to try and get the spine a little bit better. I was finding these ones with the 120 grain points were a little bit soft out of my bow. So then I made up another set of arrows with 110. I just wanted to compare the groups. You can see the group with the greens here are much, much better than the yellow group. Which gets me also to the point, these VAPs come in different straightnesses. The yellows are 0 0.001, the greens are 0 0.003. It's more important to have a correctly tuned arrow, which is the correct weight, the correct spine for your bow, than it is to have the straightness of 0 0.001, 0 0.003, or even 0 0.005. The spine to me is everything. And one of my customers said, this is a great, what do you call it? Black art, black art of, of choosing the correct arrow. And it is a lot. I get a lot of phone calls from customers saying, what arrows do I choose? What spine do I choose? If I put 150 grain point in, what spine do I... Honestly, it, a lot of it, you start off with a group of arrows and you go, how do these group of arrows shoot? Um, with the point weight I have in, and then you adjust your point weight to see how the spine is affected. Now you can change the spine on your bow through your poundage, your plunger button, your spring, your string, your, your brace height. But I find the greatest adjustment is in the arrows itself. And what I like about the Victory arrows, and it's not a plug on Victory, they come with three lots of points. Well, they don't come with the points. You can buy three lots of points. The points are very inexpensive, about $28 Australian a, a dozen. So they come in 140 grains, which is adjustable from 140 to 130 to 120, which is what these arrows had in them. The next point weight is 110, which goes 110, 190. And then the third, third um, bunch of points are 80, 70, 60. So you've got that complete adjustment, the ability to completely tune your arrows to get them perfect, regardless of almost what spine you select. So when I found these arrows being a bit weak, I had to toss up whether I was going to go for 500s, which are a stiffer arrow, with 120 grain point, or then, you know, do I go for 130 grain point? So I was creating more confusion in myself, or do I just drop the, drop the point weight down and see how the spine works? And I chose to drop the point weight down because I had to shoot 90 meters, and 90 meters is a long distance. So I was trying to pick up a little bit more speed with slightly lighter arrows than the 500s. But a lot of it, you've got to get your first set of arrows, see how they shoot, and then you, you go from there. And when you change bow poundage, you know, base, let's say you go up in bow poundage, you know well, how your current arrows shoot, and then you can adjust your next set based on that. So if you go up in bow poundage, you know, two or three pounds, then maybe you've just got to take off 10 grains off your point. And hopefully you've glued your points in with hot melt. I haven't glued these ones in with hot melt because I was in a rush to shoot them on Sunday. Um, but if you glue them in with hot point, hot melt, when you go to shoot the, you know, when you go up in poundage, you just pull the point out and cut 10 grains off, or you go and buy another pack of points and reduce the weight of the um, points, and the arrows are still good for you. So 
The Victory VAPs, I really like them. I've been now shooting them for five months. And I'm going to say I haven't broken any. I did lose three arrows um, through missing the target um, on the weekend. These ones are at 90 meters, which I did film, but my film ran out of um, space on the camera. So yeah, so I missed three arrows. I lost three arrows, but I haven't broken any arrows with the compound. I I shoot literally this many, you know, up to 40 arrows at 18 meters and I crunch them. I shoot plenty of pins, plenty of knocks off. Um, the pins are really good. They're a really strong, solid pin. I find I don't get the bending that I get with the other pins by other companies. These pins are a lot stronger. So anyway, and the price point is good. You know, these, these arrows here are probably a little bit over two hundred dollars an arrow, a dozen made up, which I think is pretty cheap um, compared to the people I'll be shooting with on the weekend who'll be having seven, eight hundred dollar arrows, um, and mine are going to be yeah, a little bit over two hundred dollars, and hopefully we'll shoot similar scores. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But anyway, lighter, lighter grain points, stiffer, sorry, stiffer arrow shoot on that side, softer shoots this side. That's all I want to show you. Thank you for watching. Bye.